Well, this is strange. Where is everybody? One, two, three, four, and that makes five. It's D, the dinosaur. It looks like it wants to play. I wonder if it knows any tricks. Sit. Turn around. What a lovely pirouette. Roll over. <laughs> well done. Can it fetch? Wow. Look at that bone fly. It landed in some clay. That was a mighty throw, Zizi. I wonder if we could use the clay to make something. Hippo, you've made a shape. A triangle. Can anyone else make a shape? Rihanna's made a rectangle. Fernando, you've made a bone. <laughs> Very good. And you created a shape, Zizi. What is it? A circle. I think Dee wants to play fetch again. What was that noise? Ah, it's Grandpa. Did you have an accident, Grandpa? He's building something. It's your new invention. Isn't it missing something? It needs wheels. Hmm, what shape would be good for a wheel? Hippo, Rihanna, Fernando and Zizi. Quickly, get your shapes and let's see if they'd be any good as wheels. And Zizi, you never know. The circle might be just right. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on his thumb. With a knick-knack paddy-whack, give a dog a bone, this old man has cracked a stone. This old man, he played two, ZZ wants to join in two. With a knick-knack paddy-whack, give a dog a bone, Grandpa's happy he's not alone. Grandpa finds the right shape. The dinosaur can fetch them. Go fetch, Dee. What's that shape? Would it be good as a wheel? No, that will not make a good wheel. What shape is this? Could it be good for a wheel? A triangle? I don't think so. What shape's this? Could it be good for a wheel? A circle? Oh, that would be the perfect shape for a wheel! What's that? It's Grandpa driving his car! Look at them go in his shiny new wheels! Well done, Grandpa!
good night. Little zebra, sleep tight. Start to snooze in your room. Dream of flowers in full bloom. May you sleep. May you rest. May your dream be the best. May you sleep. May you rest. May your dream be the best. Close your eyes and good night, sweet hippo. Sleep tight in the sky. See the moon. Dream of winning the race soon. May you sleep. May you rest. May your dream be the best. May you sleep. May you rest. May your dream be the best. Close your eyes and good night, little lamb. Sleep tight. Lay your head down and sleep, counting lots of fluffy sheep. May you sleep, may you rest, may your dream be the best. May you sleep, may you rest, may your dream be the best.
row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently up the creek. If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak. Row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Juggling is very hard, Zizi. Ah! ah, the balls will always fall to the ground because of gravity. What is gravity? Gravity is an invisible force that keeps your feet on the ground. Mm. Okay, Zizi, now give a ball to each of your friends. Now, all of you stretch your arms out straight, holding the balls. And now, let the balls go. Gravity is like a magnet. It pulls the balls down to the ground all at the same time. Hmm. Okay, try this. Jump as high as you can and you'll always come back down. Yes, Hippo, but Fernando is flying, not jumping. Fernando, can you stop flapping your wings? That's gravity. I know a place where you can jump very high and there's very little gravity. The moon, where Alan the alien lives. It's easy, you can't just go to the moon. You'll need to have a rocket! Hmm, what is she doing? What's that? You built a rocket so you can ask Alan about gravity on the moon! You built the biggest rocket ever! Ah! Ok, 
Okay then, grab your helmets. We're going to the moon to get Alan. And Hippo. Maybe bring some food. It's a long journey. Sorry, ZZ. <laughs> Did you see Alan the alien? Did you learn all about gravity? Gravity is like a magnet that keeps you on the ground. Hello, Alan the alien. Oh dear, you are much heavier on Earth than you are on the moon. That's right, ZZ. Maybe he could fly. Look, Fernando is flying. But if he stops... You see, that's gravity. Very good, Zizi. You get it now. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>
chickens, time to wake up! I wonder why it's going so fast! Hi, Zizi! Hey, Hippo! I see you're eating breakfast! The first meal of the day! Look, the chicken is back! An egg! A chick will hatch from it! Yes, a chicken lays an egg, and then a chick hatches out of it. And where did that chicken come from? From an egg. And where did that egg come from? From a chicken. Ah, I see. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? Hippo, do you know what comes first? Yes, Hippo, breakfast comes first, then lunch, then dinner, that's right. And we know that number one comes before two. And we know that number two comes before three. One, two, three. We also know the letter A comes before... No, easy. A comes before the letter B in the alphabet. That's right, Hippo. B is for butterfly. And B comes before the letter. No, Zizi. C comes after B. C is for candy. You do know that Z comes much, much later. OK, follow the butterfly. It will show you all the letters of the alphabet and where you can find Z for Zizi. Z comes. That is a lovely big Z, but it is still the last letter of the alphabet. ZZ, we can't change what comes first. The letter Z comes last, while the letter A always comes first. But Z is the first letter of your name. We learnt that breakfast is the first meal of the day. Then lunch, then dinner. That's right. We also learnt that first comes number one, and then the number two. And after number two comes three. It's hatching. <laughs> but what comes first? The chicken? Or the egg. <laughs> Where is Zizi? Aha, Zizi, how come you're the sheriff? Aha, of course, with your keen sense of smell, you can smell danger from far away. That makes you the perfect sheriff. There's no trouble when you're around. 
Hey, Hippo. Are you Zizi's deputy? Hmm. You help Zizi with your sense of taste and your hungry belly. What is it, Zizi? Can you smell trouble? Zizi, is Fernando in any danger? Ugh. Hmm, Fernando's stinky socks. Smells dangerously bad, but no trouble here, I see. Hippo, is there any danger in that cup of hot chocolate? What is it, Zizi? Can you smell trouble? Zizi, is Mouse in any danger? Onions do smell seriously bad. No trouble here then, Hippo. What is it, Zizi? More trouble? Zizi, any danger here? Hippo, Zizi, how dangerous are those croissants? <laughs> Zizi, the only dangerous thing in this town is Hippo's appetite. Oh, Zizi, do you smell danger? Game. Come on, Zizi. Let's play Good Smell, Bad Smell. Great. Hippo, let's start. Good Smell or Bad Smell? Okay. Onions do have a bad smell. Next one, Hippo. Nice. Pies do have a delicious smell. What's next, Hippo? That's a very nice smell. Pussycat, where have you been? I've been up to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. Pussycat, pussycat. 
cat, where have you been? I've been up to London to visit the Queen. Pussy cat, pussy cat, why'd you go there? I wanted to sleep in a comfy new chair. Soldiers marching all sparkly and clean. Pussy cat, pussy cat, you're in the way. I wanted to ask if I could play. Pussy cat, pussy cat, look what you've done. Tall marching soldiers are now having fun. Pussy cat, pussy cat, they want you to play. Hopscotch or skipping, it's your choice today. Steamed up, hear me shout. 